If you're an EV owner like me, your biggest fear is how do you charge your vehicle in a power outage? I want to know, can you charge an EV at home with the generator and how long does it take? That's exactly what we're going to do with my Ford Lightning. But before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and help us grow the channel. So we're all set up here, ready to go. Right now, the truck is charged at 50%, and I wanna know how long does it take to charge it from 50% to 80% using the generator. I've got a Predator 3500 inverter generator, and this is the charger that comes with the truck from Ford, and it's plugged into the 120 volt outlet on the generator. We're gonna fire this up and see how long it takes to go from 50% to 80%. So the generator's running and getting in the truck, you can see it's at 50% now. And to get it charged to 80%, it'll be complete at 9.13 p.m. Wednesday. Right now it's 2 p.m. on Tuesday. So it's gonna take about a day and a half to charge the truck from 50% to 80%. Now that we know you can successfully charge an EV with a generator, how does that charge time compare to the same charger plugged into the wall and my level two charger? So now I've got the truck plugged in with the same charger into the wall. And let's see if this is as long or faster than it is using the generator. So the charger is now plugged into the 120 volt wall power 50% to 80%, it's going to be complete 11 p.m. on Wednesday versus 9.13 p.m. Wednesday. So the generator is actually giving it more power, and it will be done a couple hours earlier, which is interesting. I thought it would be the other way around. I thought the generator would be slower charging. I know it all depends on what kind of generator you have. If you've got a generator that can charge it uh, 220, it's gonna be even more uh, quicker. So just for reference, I now plug the truck back into my juice box level two charger. I've got it hardwired in my garage. I'll put a link in the description below. It's my favorite charger, but it can do the same 50% to 80% by five o'clock today and it's a little after two. So three hours versus a day and a half using 120 or the generator. So I learned that you can charge it from the generator. It's actually going to be faster than charging it from the wall. However, it's going to still take a really long time and you'd have to run your generator nonstop. But if there's a big storm or something wipes out power, you could be using your generator to power, you know, your fridge or other appliances. So you might as well plug in your EV at the same time. 